Today we're going to look at eight neighborhoods within the Charlottesville, Virginia city limits that you can afford to live in based on your salary. So let's get started in one of Charlottesville's most affordable neighborhoods with a $7,599 per month income requirement and a salary range of less than $100,000 a year. Number one on the list is the Fifeville neighborhood. Over the past two years, 37 single family homes have been sold in this neighborhood with a median sales price of $400,000. Now, the monthly payment on a house with 10% down at a 7% interest rate would be around $2,533. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $7,599. This means you would have to earn about $91,000 a year to live in the Fifeville neighborhood. Now, there is currently one single family home for sale in this neighborhood with a list price of $435,000. Now, if that doesn't fit your budget, then you might want to consider a townhome or a condo in this area. Over the past two years, 46 attached units were sold with a median sales price of only $300,000. This amount would make your monthly payment on a townhome or a condo in this area uh, with a 10% down and a 7% interest rate around $2,533 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home of this type at 30% of your income would be around $5,700. This means you would have to earn about $68,000 a year to live in a townhome or condo in the Fifeville neighborhood. Now, unfortunately, there are currently no townhomes or condos for sale in the Fifeville neighborhood. Now, homes in the Fifeville neighborhood are the most economically priced of any of the Charlottesville neighborhoods that are that close to the heart of the downtown area. Now, regarding that location, the northeast section of the Fifeville neighborhood is only a little over a half a mile from the downtown mall. Now, the neighborhood also has many local businesses and it also features uh, several parks as well. So, moving on into the $100,000 to $200,000 salary range, at number two, we have the Johnson Village neighborhood. Over the past two years, 26 single family homes have sold with a median sales price of $460,000. The monthly payment on a house with 10% down at a 7% interest rate would be around $2,913 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $8,739. This means you would have to earn about $105,000 a year to live in the Johnson Village neighborhood. Now, there are currently two single-family homes for sale listed at $439,000 and $549,000. Although the Johnson, uh, excuse me, the Johnson Village uh, is one of the smaller neighborhoods within the Charlottesville city limits, uh, it is very unique to many of the other neighborhoods. And this uniqueness comes from the fact that there's only one vehicle entrance into the neighborhood, which provides for a much more secluded and private style of living for its residents. Now, additionally, if you have young children, there's an elementary school by the same name right there in the neighborhood. Now, for the number three neighborhood on the list, we move to the southeastern side of Charlottesville into the Belmont neighborhood. Over the past two years, this has been the most active neighborhood in Charlottesville with 99 single family homes having sold with a median sales price of $463,000. The monthly payment on a house with 10% down at a 7% interest rate would be around $2,932 a month. Monthly income required to afford at home at 30% of your income would be around $8,796. This means you would have to earn about $105,500 a year to live in the Belmont neighborhood. There are currently two single family homes for sale with prices of $790,000 and $810,000 in this neighborhood. Now, there are also many townhomes and condominiums that are sold in this neighborhood as well. As a matter of fact, over the past two years, 44 homes of this type have sold with a median sales price of only $297,450. This would make your monthly payment on a median price townhome or condo with 10% down at a 7% interest rate around $1,884 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home of this type at 30% of your income would be around $5,652. This means you would have to earn about $68,000 a year to live in a townhome or condo in the Belmont neighborhood. Now there are currently five townhomes or condos for sale in the Belmont neighborhood with a median asking price of a little more than we saw a moment ago, but $439,000. 
The Belmont neighborhood is a neighborhood that has seen a great urban renewal. Many homes that need updating and remodeling have been purchased in this area, which when refurbished adds significant value to the property, of course. Now in some parts of the neighborhood, large contemporary homes priced near or even exceeding the million dollar range are replacing some of those older and smaller homes. If you'd like to see some of the homes in the Belmont neighborhood, uh, take a look at this video, which tells you a whole lot more about this neighborhood. Now, by the way, if you're looking to sell a home or purchase a home in nine days or 90 days, Leslie and I would be happy to help you just like we've done for so many people that have uh, taken the time to give us a call. Just check out the information in the description below and call us, text us, or email us, and we'd be happy to help. Also, we'd be honored if you click that subscribe button and touch that bell icon for more real estate information about Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and about Charlottesville specifically as well, but also to learn tons more about the places and activities we take you to that are unique to our fantastic area in the Charlottesville uh, town area. All right, so continuing in that $100,000 to $200,000 salary range, coming in at number four, we're going to move to the northeast side of town to the Locust Grove neighborhood. Now, over the past two years, 74 single-family homes have sold in Locust Grove, having a median sales price of $485,500. Additionally, there have been a handful of townhomes and condos that have sold for a median price of $454,000. The monthly payment on a single-family home at $485,500 with 10% down at a 7% interest rate would be around $3,074 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $9,222. This means you'd have to earn about uh, $111,000 a year to live in the Locust Grove neighborhood. There are also currently two single family homes for sale in this neighborhood as well. Both priced at, or one is priced at $429,900 and the other at $549,900. Now the Locust Grove neighborhood is a fantastic neighborhood that has a little different feel than some of the neighborhoods closer in towards the center of town. You know, there's multiple parks in this neighborhood and you can also enjoy walking or biking on the Ravana Trail on the neighborhood's eastern border. Additionally, Penn Park with Charlottesville's Meadow Creek Golf Course is a great place for kids as well with playgrounds and shelters and a lot of open spaces for play. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the Locust Grove neighborhood, then check out these videos where you can find out more about it. The Greenbrier neighborhood is number five on our list of eight neighborhoods in Charlottesville. Over the past two years, 59 single-family homes have sold in this neighborhood with a median sales price of $588,100. The monthly payment on a house at this price with 10% down again at a 7% interest rate would be around $3,724 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $11,172 a month. This means you would have to earn about $134,000 a year to live in the Greenbrier neighborhood. Now there's only currently one single family home for sale on the market here in the Greenbrier neighborhood with a price of $549,500. Now the Greenbrier neighborhood is one of my favorite neighborhoods inside the city limits of Charlottesville. Many of the lots in this neighborhood are slightly larger than some of the neighborhoods we've talked about. Charlottesville High School also sits at the southern edge of this neighborhood. Now, this neighborhood also has multiple parks and additionally, Meadow Creek runs right through it and around its borders uh, that encircle much of the neighborhood. Now, along this creek, you can take beautiful walks along the Ravana Trail and you can cycle as well. The Greenbrier neighborhood is one of my top neighborhoods in all of Charlottesville. As you can tell, I really do like it. Now, if you'd like to see firsthand what this neighborhood looks like, along with a portion of the Ravana Trail, take a look at any of these videos, or you can take a look at all of them to find out more about it. Now, rounding out our $100,000 to $200,000 salary range is, an, is neighborhood number six, the Barracks Rugby neighborhood. Over the past two years, 56 single-family homes have sold in this neighborhood with a median sales price of $700,000. The monthly payment on a house with 10% down at a 7% interest rate would be around $4,433 a month. 
Monthly income required to afford a house at 30% of your income would be about $13,299. This means you would have to earn about $159,500 a year to live in the Barracks Rugby neighborhood. Now there are not any homes that are currently on the market in this neighborhood, but within the boundaries of the Barracks Rugby neighborhood, you'll find homes that have great variances in prices. For example, in the last two years, the lowest priced home in this neighborhood sold for only $225,000, and the most expensive home sold for $2,837,500. These differences in price have really created neighborhoods within the neighborhood, and this neighborhood is also very conveniently uh, located bordering the intersection of Highway 29 and Highway 250, making easy access to both the downtown Charlottesville area and to multiple shopping areas up and down the Highway 29 corridor. You'll be able to see some of the differences in the homes in the neighborhood by watching these two videos. So. For our final two neighborhoods, we move into the $200,000 plus salary range. Now, each of these neighborhoods are very close to the University of Virginia. Many homes in these neighborhoods are purchased with cash, but for comparison's sake, uh, we'll continue with the metrics that we've used so far. So coming in at the number seven spot on the list is the Lewis Mountain neighborhood, bordering the University of Virginia to the west. There have been only 13 single family homes that have been sold in this neighborhood in the last two years, having a median sales price of $1,047,000. The monthly payment on a house with 10% down and a 7% interest rate would be around $6,630 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $19,890. This means you would have to earn about $239,000 a year to live in the Lewis Mountain neighborhood. Now there are currently two single family homes for sale in this neighborhood as well, and they're priced at $2,100,000 and $2,480,000. Now, similar to the next neighborhood that we're gonna talk about, Lewis Mountain is a highly desired neighborhood housing many professors teaching at the University of Virginia. Lewis Mountain also has many homes with unique architectural features that are closely tied with those of the University of Virginia. And of course, it's also just a short walk to many UVA locations, including a lot of their athletic venues like Scott Stadium and the John Paul Jones Arena. So, the eighth and final neighborhood today is the Venable neighborhood. Over the past two years, 28 single family homes have sold in this neighborhood with a median sales price of $1,071,100. The monthly payment on a house with 10% down at 7% interest rate would be around $6,783 a month. Monthly income required to afford a home at 30% of your income would be around $20,349. This means you would have to earn about $244,000 a year to live in the Venable neighborhood. Now there are currently two single family homes for sale priced at $1,150,000 and $1,950,000. The historic Venable neighborhood was originally created during the 1800s to house UVA professors and to this day many professors continue to live there. Many of the homes in this neighborhood continue to retain their architectural style that is patterned after UVA's grand design. Now, of course, much of the neighborhood is within walking distance to UVA as well. So overall, this should give you a good overview of eight of the 19 Charlottesville neighborhoods with different home values that you can afford to live in. Now, hopefully you've gotten a little better feel for these neighborhoods and you know a little bit more about which neighborhood might be the right one for you. Now, of course, it's impossible to cover everything in a video like this, but here's a breakdown of all 19 neighborhoods in the Charlottesville, Virginia city limits. So if you want to know more about that, pause the video just a moment. Now, of course, this still doesn't begin to scratch the surface of all the questions that you might have about living in Charlottesville. But that's one of the reasons Leslie and I are here, to answer the remaining questions you might have. So like I said towards the beginning of the video, if you're looking to sell your home or to buy a home, don't hesitate to call, text, or email Leslie or myself. 
We'd be happy to have a conversation with you about your current living situation, your moving situation, whatever the case is, so that we can help you make your move, whether it's across town or across the country, as smoothly as possible. But we can't help you if you don't contact us. <laughs> so we'll look forward to hearing from you soon. But until next time, we'll see you around town.